Hey everyone, I'm just on my pedal generator here and I'm powering the light above me for the video. So if I run out of energy, then the light's going to go out. Oh no, I'm getting a little tired. Oh, I got some more energy now. But anyway, I built the generator about six years ago and I just want to give you a look at it. So right now it's charging a 12 volt car battery and also powering the light, which is a dual fluorescent tube. Um, they're 34 watts each. Now there's no load right now, so you can see there's a 100, 120 volt. So when I turn on my field voltage here, my rheostat, and I just turn it on slightly, power the light. So I've got a radio here, and I'm just going to turn on the power. Oh, man, I have only three and degrees. Go. Go. around 10. It doesn't take and, much uh, to power a clock radio, and <laughs> it's not a very good one, but... So I've got the fan hooked up, and I'm just going to turn it on, and you can see that the fan, I've just turned up the rheostat slightly, and there it goes. Now lots of people have built these generators, and I'm not sure if anyone's built one exactly the same way I have here, just want to show you this design, there's lots of great other uh, designs out there. So after the recent hurricane, um, I really got interested in making a video on this because I was hearing the stories about people that couldn't even charge their cell phones and they had no electricity whatsoever. And it makes you wonder. So the entire generator was just built from junk. The bicycle was just an old 12 speed scrap bicycle. And now the generator I'm using, this is actually a 50 amp GM alternator and also for the stand that holds the, the, um, the generator stationary is just old chair legs. For the setup is I'm using a belt drive and I've just removed the tire and so then I've just hooked the belt drive, the belt, right to the pulley of the alternator and it worked out really well. So to mount the alternator, I've just used some, this is actually a clamp for uh, airplane cables, wire cable. And this was just a little piece of pipe here. I, I believe this was from a car. It was a piece um, that holds a mount. And then I've used some threaded rod here and an electrical. This is a um, grounding rod clamp. And so that holds the alternator on and also I've used some pipe that I've just flattened out as the um, the side bracket here. That just goes down into the frame, so it's really easy. And I just lined it up as best as possible. It, it's not uh, rocket science here. So I have a few little features on this pedal generator. And first of all, the light that I was powering in the beginning of the video is not being powered by an inverter. I'm actually using the alternator and stepping up the voltage with this transformer here and then this goes to the power cord and that's which was powering the fluorescent light. So another feature I have on here is I'm not using the built-in regulator on the alternator. What I'm doing is I'm using a rheostat. Now this is just out of a car. This is used for adjusting the um, your dashboard lights. So I'll just show you how the rheostat works. Now when I get on the bike and I start pedaling, there's no field voltage to the alternator right now. So there's no, there's very little magnetic field on the rotor. So once I pull this out and then I can turn this on, now my magnet, magnetic field is getting stronger. So I have more tension on the generator. If I crank this right up, I have a lot more tension. So with this, you can adjust your tension. So then you can use this as an exercise bike. So the more electricity you want, you want to produce, the more tension, the higher you turn this up. 
So I've added one more feature, and I'm just going to show you this. Now this is just a capacitor, and I'm just going to show you how you can run this without a battery. I'm just going to connect now the capacitor to the alternator. So there's no battery now. The capacitor is charged up right now. Because the capacitor is charged, I'm just going to turn on the rheostat. So there we go. Now the generator is working. And as long as I keep pedaling, the generator will, will produce electricity. So let's just plug the light in. And there we go. Now there's no battery hooked to that alternator whatsoever. It's just the capacitor. So if I want to then turn it off, just turn it off, the capacitor is still charged. So I want to start up the generator again. Start pedaling. And there you go. So I just wanted to show here how you can take some old junk and you can put together a generator. And it's really not that difficult to do. So that was just a look at my older design of the pedal generator. And I'm hoping uh, soon to build a new design when I get some time. And I'm going to incorporate a lot more um, features to it than this one has here. I have a lot of good ideas to, to step this thing up a notch. So, well, that was just a look at the pedal generator. And thank you for watching.